Good morning, everybody. Thank you uh, for being here today. Uh, especially thank my colleagues that are on the Armed Services Committee who are with me in a markup until 4.40 this morning. Uh, we appreciate uh, everybody's attendance uh, for a very uh, important uh, hearing on issues that we're all very, very concerned with. Uh, I will tell you that uh, Ms. Brown and I have had numerous conversation about uh, women's issues and female issues as it relates to uh, the VA and the health care that's provided and, and what we can help VA do better. Uh, and I think it's in a very appropriate time uh, for us to meet, uh, to talk about this, uh, to continue uh, the conversation. I pre appreciate that. I would also say that Unfortunately, Ms. Brown is not able to be with us this morning. There, there is, at least for the beginning of the meeting, <clears throat> she's in a um, double book situation where she has a markup uh, that she's in. Uh, and it's not that she didn't want to be here uh, for the business committee uh, meeting that I'm about to call, uh, because she did. And she actually asked if we could shift it later. But I know everybody has... Uh, commitments uh, throughout the remainder of the morning, and so I, I've made the decision to go forward uh, and have uh, the business uh, meeting now. <clears throat> so I want to take care of one piece of business, uh, considering a motion for the issuance of a subpoena. Uh, for the issuance <clears throat> of, of that subpoena to the department to produce all documents and communications of the Philadelphia Regional Office related to matters investigated, pending, or completed before the Equal Opportunity Commission and or the Merit Systems Protection Board from December 31st of 2008 to present. The day represents just the third time in this committee's history that a subpoena has been called for, and I assure you I have not come to the moment that we are at today lightly. I originally requested the MSPB and EEO files from the Philadelphia Regional Office more than four months ago on the 19th of December. Since then, committee staff acting on my behalf has been making regular and repeated requests for this information through various officials at VA's Office of Congressional and Legislative Affairs. My request and their appeals have been ignored. I reiterated my request for this information to Secretary McDonald in a face-to-face -face meeting in my office on February 25th. Despite the Secretary's personal assurance that a response was forthcoming, the files were not produced. I requested this information for a third time. Many of you were here uh, from Lee Bradley, VA's general counsel, during a committee hearing on March 16th. Yet again, the files were not provided. On March 20th, the staff director for the Subcommittee on Disability Assistance and Memorial Affairs conducted an oversight visit to the Philadelphia RO and made still another request for these files directly to Diana Rubens, the director of that facility. Her request, not surprisingly, also went unanswered. Finally, on April 14th, in the days leading up to last week's full committee hearing on whistleblower retaliation, and leadership failures at the Philadelphia RO, VA began producing some documents in accordance with our request. Unfortunately, those documents are incomplete. Finally, after close of business last night on the eve of this action, VA provided the committee with three disks of documents containing some additional EEO and MSPB files. I would note that while we received those disks last night, we did not receive the password that was required to access the information on them until this morning. More alarmingly, those three disks, which committee staff is diligently working on right now, still do not contain the full scope and breadth of the information requested. VA documents indicate that no MSPB files were produced in 2015, though I am aware of at least one case that has been adjudicated so far this year, and I cannot find it anywhere in the documents that VA has provided. Further, MSPB and EEO files that have been produced are redacted. 
And I'll be glad to pass these around. And I don't know if we've got it where we can put it up on the screen, but this, this will give you an idea uh, of the redactions. Uh, and these are different pages, but I'm going to send them around so everybody has a, a good opportunity to see that they are, again, not providing us the information uh, that we were asking for. So providing documents to the committee after a four-month delay, then leaving key pieces of information, including supervisor names, blacked out does not further this committee's constitutional oversight responsibility. And it's yet another in a growing list of examples of VA's deliberate attempts to impede our congressional oversight and limit their transparency. There's no doubt that there are serious issues plaguing the operations of the Philadelphia RO, and we can no longer afford to allow VA to stonewall our legitimate request for information about that or about any other VA facility. As such, today we will vote to issue a subpoena that will require VA to provide this committee with all documents and communications of the Philadelphia RO relating to matters, again, investigated, pending, or completed before the EEO and or the MSPB from December 31, 2008 to present. And this time I'd ask if there's any other members who wish to speak on the issue. If not, pursuant to Rule 11, Clause 2, M1B, of the House of Representatives and Rule 3, Clause G of this committee, I will now hear a motion from Congressman Costello of Pennsylvania for the issuance of this subpoena. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move that the committee authorize the issuance of a subpoena deuces to come to Robert A. McDonald, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs for the Department of Veterans Affairs to produce complete copies of all Merit Systems Protection Board and Equal Employment Opportunity files of the Philadelphia Regional Benefit Office from December 31st, 2008 to present. There's a motion before us to hear a second. Second. Motion has been promptly made and seconded. All those in favor of the motion to issue a subpoena to VA to produce all communications and documents regarding EEOC and MSPB files from the Philadelphia RO since 2008 will say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, the motion carries. I'm now going to sign the subpoena, hereby directing its issuance forthwith. And this completes our business meeting for today.